Hi, I'm Tracy Faulkner from Lush Fabrics with your release for this week, 30th of October. Another 10 fabrics for you. The first one is something new and I'm a little bit excited about this one. This is called Cheetah Mesh. So let me show you. It is mesh background and with this velvet flocked cheetah detail to it as well. So with that flocking, it needs some extra care. So please, no hot washers, no dryers. I would be putting this in a bag at a minimum. Um, excuse me. <coughs> Sorry. Perhaps um, a hand wash. I mean, you do you, but please be very careful with this one. It does require some extra care. But it's so cool. It is 95% poly, 5% spandex. It's 100 GSM. It's really nice and light. It's got pretty firm horizontal stretch. It has... Um, some better vertical stretch and there's your drape now the question is what to do with such a fabric because it is very see-through I think when I see this I think of um, the leggings with cutouts sorry there's a sticker on here that's annoying me um, you know they they've got the mesh um, sewn into it so it's a little bit see-through but it's you know it's not risque or anything it's all in the right spot so I think of that sort of thing. <coughs> Sorry, tickling my throat. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, <coughs> Sorry. It's not a good start to the video. Or an overlay. So if you make yourself a top or a dress or something like that and you have whatever colour you like underneath, um, you know, you could really incorporate anything and then you just sew this on as the overlay. It gives it a really cute detail. So they're my ideas. Um, obviously no coordinating fabrics with this one. And the thread is just the 4000, the black. Cheetah mesh. I hope you are excited about that one too. All right, next is what I am wearing. Let me stand on my stool. This is high above. It is a DTY. Sorry, I know you can't see my pants properly there. Um, I've made these Summer K pants by Love Notions. I did put a picture up yesterday. So um, in the Facebook group, Lush Fabrics and then Australia in brackets, you'll see a proper photo. So you can see the, the full length. Um, I've done the wide leg pants. The pattern comes with wide leg or palazzo leg. I um, have quite a few pairs of palazzo pants and I love them, but they do feel like a lot sometimes. And sometimes I just want something a little bit simpler so i really really like these and i think i'll be making some more i just used a the yoga waistband from um sachet shorts by pat emporium because i quite like a yoga waistband it's really comfortable and i think it looks a bit nicer than elastic i'm wearing a pure white singlet and it is an off-white in the print so i probably could have done better there but I didn't. I didn't. I don't wear a lot of white because it's not really my colour. Um, so I just went with what I had. Okay, so DTY is a poly knit, 96% poly, 4% spandex. It's got a little bit of a slinky feel to it. It's lovely and cool to the touch. It's great for so many different garments and it's really nice for summer. There's no brushing to this fabric, so there's no extra warmth. Okay, now, <clears throat> 1610 is the thread that I use for this one. And we put it with the off-white modal, which is much better than pure white. And Bondi Splash. And this is a cotton spandex. All right, high above DTY. I hope you love this one as much as I do. This one is quite a small roll from memory. I don't think there was a huge amount on there. Okay, now, rayon crepon. This is a woven. Let me get it in the right way. Where are we? Here we go. So this is a woven fabric. It is 100% rayon. And it's called rayon crepon because it's got a little bit of a wrinkle effect to it. I'm not sure if I can show you here. I think it's hard to pick up on this one. You can feel it a little bit. Um, and it's really just a texture. 
it's really lovely to wear in summer um, and it's a really cute little print too good old black and white so you can put heaps of stuff with this one I don't have any stretch to show you because it's woven but there is your drape now this one just good old 4000 for our thread and white tri-blend is what we put with this but it's black and white you could put just about any color with this and it will look amazing so vacay in black rayon crepe on <clears throat> and next rayon shelly so rayon shelly is just 100% rayon it has a nice smooth finish to it it feels really beautiful actually it's gorgeous now let's show you this print have i got it the right way there we go isn't that really pretty the purples in it are just gorgeous it's a bit wrinkled sorry it's been folded this one so rayon shelly and rayon crepon are most likely things that are going to need to be ironed i'm afraid um yes they're unlikely to fall nicely after a wash unless you're very good at that um, it'll probably need a little bit of an iron before wear this is called state of mind in top uh, again i don't have hang on i can't show you the stretch but i can show you the drape can't i there you go there's that drape it's beautiful notice it's quite it's a lot slimmer than the rayon crepe on so that texture of that last one gave it a little bit of body all right this color is not for me either so try to ignore that uh 1630 we put with this one and then we matched it up with top modal and pasture cotton spandex for those greens there and light brown double brush poly that's really cute i like those tones together uh, and camel faux suede oops excuse that little bit there that's really cute okay state of mind in top rayon shelly excuse the wrinkliness of that one next is a restock it's been a little while since we've seen this one but it flew out the door pretty quickly last time. Beck made an amazing dress out of it. This is called Amour in pink. Let's open that up. It's looking a little bit dark pink, a bit reddish in this light. It's actually, um, it's probably a mid-tone pink, mid to dark tone pink, I guess. Dusty though, not bright, but isn't that gorgeous? It is a big print. So keep that in mind. It's looking dark up here too. It's looking almost brown. Anyway, pictures on the website will look a whole lot better. Hopefully. Okay, double brush poly. So soft to the touch. Really nice stretch. Great for all sorts of garments. I would make this top out of double brush poly and I would make these pants out of double brush poly and they'd work beautifully. Dresses, skirts, shorts, you name it all sorts now unfortunately there was no good thread match for this pink uh, we did put it with white tri-blend but it could go with white anything all right Alua in pink is back not Alua, Amour in pink is back in stock now the next double brush poly you've seen this print before and this is a different colorway this is Love Yourself in Blue. And this colorway is really gorgeous because it's got an amazing blue, but then it's got these really nice pinks and purples as well. Let me show you that close up. Have I got that upside down? No, I think they go all different ways. Do they? No, I do have it upside down. Whoops. There we go that's better now we can read some of our really nice tones and colors in there so again really good stretch really nice drape now couldn't find a matching thread unfortunately 
and only two coordinating fabrics. This is the porcelain uh, 250 GSM modal and this is a really nice match. This is dark lavender and that's really nice with that double brush poly as well. All right, love yourself in blue double brush poly. Okay, an animal print because we have to have an animal print somewhere. This one is Grand Ois and it's a pretty typical animal print. It's got the, the right colors in it and it's got, you know, a few different size prints in there. Gives it a bit of depth, a bit of dimension to it. So double brushed again. So it's lovely and soft, great stretch, great drape. I've got thread number 1172 and that actually matches in with that background there. But there's a lot of black in this print, so you could probably get away with just using the black thread as well. Uh, beige Double Brush Poly is the only one we had to go with this one. It would look amazing with black. Um, as you know, we don't do the photos with black because most things go with black. Um, but I think it would look really great with black, this one. Grand Ois. All right, last Double Brush Poly. This one's super pretty. This one is called True Tie Dye Rainbow. Double brush, it is super soft. I'm gonna have to hold this one out. This one kind of reminds me of a rainbow paddle pop. Really nice soft colors. Look at that. And it's so soft to the touch. Now it's a true tie dye, so it's the same on the back. So that's important because most of the time double brush poly is white on the back and it can affect sometimes the garments that you make. You know, if you're going to have something high low or a cardigan or something like that, the sort of garment where you can see the wrong side of the fabric, it's nice to know if you've got this option because this is a really nice thing to, to make those sorts of garments out of. Now I don't have a thread. I looked at it and I thought I have no idea what thread to put with that. So I'm going to leave that one to you to match at home. Surely there's one of these colors in your stash at home to match. And if not, an ivory. All right, very stretchy. Beautiful drape. Although this is very stretchy, it won't grow on you during the day. It's, um, it's got really good um, recovery on its stretch, which means it'll bounce back in again and not get bigger. Okay, some pretty colors to go with this one as well. Banana, double brush poly. Chambray, double brush poly. And apricot, single brush poly. They're really cute with, them, with this one, I think. How gorgeous is it? True tie-dye rainbow, love that one. Okay, I have two left. This one is a rayon spandex, and this is a print you've seen before as well, but oh, this colorway, I love this sort of a color. I think I'm gonna need to make myself a t-shirt out of this. I love the color, it feels cool holding this up against me. Rayon spandex, or rayon, tends to hold some coolness, and it's really nice. Um, as I said last week, rayon spandex t-shirts are my favorite. And they, this color is amazing. So this print is Confessions. So you've seen Confessions before. So it's a really simple little print. Confessions in burnt orange is this one. So great stretch. So unlike the double brush poly, rayon spandex is likely to grow on you during the day. And I can feel just from holding this, and this is a one meter cut, that it's pulling down. Um, I generally make t-shirts out of rayon spandex and they're absolutely fine because, you know, they just they only come up to here. You know, there's not a great deal of weight in the t-shirts to pull it down. Um, so they work fine. If I wanted to make myself a little dress or something like that, I would certainly use some clear elastic in the shoulder seams and that gives it some strength. If there is a waist seam, I would put it put clear elastic in there as well. 
for some extra strength. Okay, we have 1317 is our thread for this one. And we have put this one with porcelain. Did I throw that over here? Yes, I did. Porcelain modal, that white there. And this one's a bit different. Chocolate micro suede. Because there are these brown bits. The stems of the flowers are brown. So that matches in with that one. All right, confessions in burnt orange rayon spandex. I have to take this cup home, I think. All right, last one is a Lush Sunday special, and it's actually another new base. This is a um, a rib knit. It's called um, Pointel, and I'm going to show you up close. The ribbing is just a little bit different. I'm going to leave it like that because it's pulling itself down. So it's looking a bit um, see-through. Can you see how it's almost squares? It's almost a little bit like waffle. Um, when you just look at it and it's not looking see-through, it does look more like vertical lines running through it. But there are actually some crossovers as well. Now, I know that's looking very see-through there. I don't know that I would worry too much. Certainly for a top, I wouldn't be concerned at all. Um, a dress, I guess I'd have to make a dress and put it on to see how worried I am about it being see-through, but I actually think it would be okay to wear when there's a big distance between me and the fabric. That's when you can really see through it. But this is gorgeous. I absolutely love this. So it's called Happy Life in Navy, but it's kind of a washed navy. I think you can probably see that, that it's not a true dark navy. It's got a bit of washing through it. So you can, um, sorry, let's close that up. So you can see it's not the real dark, true navy. Super sweet print. Um, this one is 86% poly, 9% rayon, 5% spandex, 190 GSM. It's got really, really great stretch, very stretchy there. Just a little bit of give vertically. Now that's a good thing um, because it means it shouldn't grow out on you too much during the day. And beautiful drape. I haven't actually sewn this one up yet, but I am excited to because I think it'll be one of my favourites, just like the rib knit is. I think this will be, this will have to join the list, I'm pretty sure. All right, 3561 is the thread that we have put with this one. And we put it together with white bamboo. I actually don't have the white bamboo here. This is white tri-blend. But just to give you the idea of the white. Um, I wonder if the chambray will work with it. This isn't one of the ones that we've listed. But I actually think chambray looks really nice with it too. You won't find the chambray as a match on the website. But I would be tempted to use chambray as a match and pasture is our other match because it's quite a soft navy and the washed style navy we actually don't have that background color to coordinate which is a bit of a shame so um because this is a lush sunday special it's a little bit cheaper today and i thought i would do that because not very many of you at all would have used this particular fabric type before so if you're a little bit unsure it just makes it that little bit easier if it's the lush sunday special um Okay, that's it. That's all I have to show you. These are all of our fabrics. Don't forget to join our competitions. Enter our competitions on Facebook and YouTube. Um, and a random winner will be chosen on Monday for a $25 Lush gift card. Uh, one for each competition. Uh, don't forget our monthly postal service uh, will be on its way to you for October. And we are starting a new month very soon. So if you wanted to take advantage of the monthly postal service, do that. If you're not sure what that is, just jump on our website and look under the shipping section and it explains what it's all about. It's a way to get these goods out to you um, a little bit cheaper. Okay, that's everything. All of these are now available on our website, www.lushfabrics.com.au. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week. Bye.